Fantastic Thursday morning. I'm sweaty. Hold on. I'm sweaty. It's hot. Kevin just closed up so we can turn the air on. I'm going to take my slingy thingy off for a little while um, after I'm done watching American Idol and let my arm hang and kind of work my fingers and my elbow a little bit. I'm supposed to be doing that. He didn't say how often or anything. But you just want to keep your elbow from freezing up. And... Yeah. My fingers is what has me the most concerned because they feel very swollen and very stiff. And I'm still trying to move them inside my brace. Um, however, you know, when I take the brace off, it does feel very swollen and very very swollen, very stiff. So, um, that's what we're going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be doing after American Idol. Uh, what are you doing today, baby? Well, right now I'm cleaning the garage so I can get to my workbench. So right now I'm just putting stuff to away. Um, I might put a coat of a polyurethane on that edge, but, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get anything else done. Well, are you going... Oh, you're not going with Mom today. No, she uh, her she's uh, with a friend who's getting eye surgery today. So we might... Uh, today's my mom's birthday, so we're probably going to do something tomorrow. Happy birthday, Mom McLean! Happy birthday. All right, so here I am back in my garage. It's been a while, but uh, I actually have my... Workbench cleared. And I'm going to lacquer this edge piece that I have. And I pulled out my uh, cookie cones so that I'm not <laughs> dirtying it up with uh, my top here. And I'll get these so it's stable. And uh, they'll break out my um, polyurethane. I hope the polyurethane's still good. It's kind of old. Um, I don't know how long these things last, but uh, usually when you have a garage set up like I do, you hold on to everything. And usually when it gets to the time that you need it, it's not any good anymore. So if it's still good, I'm going to do some varnishing. All right, so here's the poly I'm using. It's just your standard Minwax um, clear semi-gloss. Uh, uh, I don't have a date on it, so I'm not sure how old it is. It, it um, feels pretty good, actually. So I'm going to uh, open it up and see. Looks pretty good. I've got a stick, I'm going to stir it up. Do not want to make a lot of bubbles. I've already wiped down the wood so there's no dust on it. This is not the most dust free environment in the world, but I think one of the most important things when using a poly is uh, the brush. And I've got myself a, uh, a purdy. Purdy. Isn't that purdy? China bristle. It's just a uh, what inch and a half? Yeah, inch and a half china bristle. It's got a really nice bristle to it. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna start on the left end here. Mainly because I'm right-handed. 
so I want to brush in the direction that I'm going. Now when you're working with wood like this, and you're working with a poly, you end up with bubbles. And what you do with the bubbles, don't panic. Just uh, when you're done with a section, you do tipping. You just take the tip and you brush the tip and it, that'll knock down most of your uh, bubbles. And basically what I'm going to do is let this dry. Tomorrow I'm going to take some uh, uh, Ot4 steel wool and sand it down and put another coat. The first coat is always kind of bubbly and messy anyway because the grain is retaining some air. Alright, so this is the first coat. It's been tipped. I've uh, done as much work with it as possible before it starts to dry. I'm going to give it about 24 hours to dry. I'll do this again tomorrow. Uh, take some steel wool to uh, sand in between. Make sure you don't put, leave any of the steel wool in the wood because it, it will uh, react with the wood and turn black. Um, you can use really, really fine sandpaper like uh, 800, but I, I think steel wool is easier to deal with. Uh, I'm going to probably just put two coats on this. Um, if it was a piece of furniture, I would be putting four or five, uh, sanding in between each, but uh, since it's just the edge of the floor, I just need it sealed well, so I'm just going to do two. So I'll take a look at this again tomorrow. Now I need to clean up my brush. Hello. So, hello. Huh? Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good. Hi. Good. Happy to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so I noticed you put your thing on over your nightgown. This yeah. Time. It's more comfortable this way. I, I thought it would be. And plus, you know, I have to start, I don't know how often I'm supposed to do it, but I have to start letting my arm hang and start using my fingers and moving my elbow a little bit. Uh-huh. And... It's hard to do and not use your, your shoulder at all. And we've got band-aids all over you now instead of... Since they just put little holes in because they did it orthoscopically. But they, we, did, we counted again and there was six holes. Not including the one in your head. There's none in my head. <laughs> he had me thinking there really was. <laughs> my brain doesn't work right now. Okay? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's kind of weird, you know, try and just have your arm hang like like it's dead and move just your fingers and your elbow. Without involving without, your shoulder. Yeah, without moving your shoulder. It's hard. It's really hard to do. Yeah. And so I, I am accidentally moving my shoulder and it's causing pain. So, yeah. but... I remember when I got my hip replacement, and then they made me stand up, and uh, that was really painful, and of course I almost puked and passed out. And no, don't again. put any weight on it, but stand up. Just standing up. Just yeah. standing up. Yeah. It's crazy. So, I was just watching Arrow that we recorded last night, but Kevin just informed me. That Babadook is... Uh, Turn the camera towards just, you. <laughs> just to say Babadook? Yes! Babadook is on Netflix. <laughs> we must see. How's that? Freckles doesn't want to see Babadook. Freckles he, wants what I have. He wants to see you <laughs> drop something. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to watch Babadook. Bye bye bye. Is it dinner? Is it dinner? Hey guys, so every day for a little while I'm supposed to take my arm out of my sling and let it hang down and move my fingers, can you see my fingers, move my fingers and my wrist and try and move my elbow a little bit 
without moving my shoulder, which is very hard to do, and it hurts. And I'm trying to do it. So, why do I have to do that, babe? So your elbow won't freeze up and your fingers won't freeze up. You need to move them. I'm trying to do it and it hurts. You're doing okay. We'll put you to bed in a little while. Alright, I have a question for all of you who use music on YouTube. Um, I've been using the their uh, audio library for since we started. And I'm usually pretty good at, at finding tunes that match the mood of whatever we're doing at the time. But sometime last week, this thing stopped playing. I would hit play, and I'd get no sound. No sound at all. Now I know my audio is on, the audio here is on. And I also know that when I go to a, a vlog, it'll be... The volume will be turned off. So I have to turn it on. And if I go back to and try to play something, it won't play. And if I go back to the video, it'll be off again. So I, I know it's a setting on my computer or setting in their system because I can get it to play on other computers but I cannot get it to play on this one um, when I download them I can play them from my download but it won't play on, uh, on their player so anybody got any ideas so uh, is this a setting problem did I do what did I do I must have turned something off and I cannot find it on the page and uh, I don't know what to do because I'm, at this point I can't hear or listen to music. I can just use the stuff that I've downloaded already, of which I'm sure everybody's getting tired of hearing. Let me know if you got any ideas, you got any answers. All right, guys, so uh, we're probably not going to get some credit rolls going tonight. Or we're not going to have shout outs tonight because. What do you think, Boomer? Ah, you ready for shout outs? Mm hmm. Come on. Ready for shout outs? Community, we love you. <laughs> Tomorrow. Alright, so that's probably all you're going to get today. Uh, she's pretty much out for the count. Even Boomer can't get her awake. Lick her foot. Lick her foot. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to have to end it here. She has crashed out. So, see you tomorrow.